So in my previous video, I built a giant funnel in the game PlanetCraft for using coding and math, and I used it to try to catch meteors. Today, I'm gonna show you what happens when I chop up that funnel, turn it into a bowl, and start firing weirder and weirder objects into it to see how the game handles it, so that we can learn a little bit more about how this game works. So I've already figured out how to write a mod to spawn objects in the game. So now it was time to get them to shoot out of my face, which basically just involves making them appear one meter in front of the player camera and then applying a force to them. If I press the G key, whoa! Whee! Look at that! Woohoo! Well, applying a force to the object wasn't working for me, so instead I switched to just telling the object how fast it's going, setting its velocity to whatever I wanted. Yeah! Yeah! That's what I'm talking about! Woo! All right, then it was time to craft our bowl. Basically, we just take the funnel, chop the top off to make it shorter, add a bottom, boom, bowl. Look at that, woohoo! Check it out, we're actually filling up the bowl. All right, well this is cool, but it's gonna take forever to fill up a bowl of this size. I wonder if we can fire more than one object at a time. Let's see, if I press G, look at that! <laughs> Yay! Step right up. Guess how many pulsar quartz there are? Win a prize. Oh god, it's slowing down. Yeah, things really started to slow down in game here. The game is having to render thousands and thousands of these objects all at the same time. You hear it chugging? All right, we're running at 10 frames a second. What if I look away? Yeah, 60 frames a second immediately. <laughs> but I found that that wasn't the main thing slowing things down for me. What was really slowing things down was physics. See, for all these thousands and thousands of crystals, any of them that are moving require tons of math to handle how gravity is affecting them, what happens when they run into another object, and the game is doing this dozens of times a second for every object that's still moving. Luckily, the game engine does something a little clever here. So if you look, you'll notice not every crystal is still moving. See, after a set amount of time, objects stop moving, even if that means they're still floating midair. This is called going from dynamic to static, where a dynamic object is moving and a static object is still. And when an object becomes static, that basically means the computer doesn't have to do all that physics math for that object anymore. I think we can get to 100,000. It's so shiny. It looks like a stadium full of people taking pictures. And the crowd is going wild! This might be it. We might already have it. Do we have it? Yeah! That's 100,000! I mean, honestly, I'm amazed the game was able to handle this this well. That's 100,000 thousand objects and the game was running just fine okay well i'm gonna save uh well mostly oh god did it save them yeah crash the game <laughs> all right i feel like we've learned some cool stuff about this game let's start firing weird stuff into the bowl and see how the game handles it sulfur aluminum oh super alloy would be fun yeah look at that can we speed it up to 100? Can we go 10 times as fast? Why not break the game, right? Why not make my computer cry? Blah! <laughs> yeah! 102,500. Look at it. Look at it. It's handling it pretty well, actually. We can do it with storage crates. <laughs> Look at it. Look at it! Ah, look at him, a little squishy pile! This is fun! Look at that! I've got some other objects that we can try it with. Alright, you ready? Ah, yeah! Woo! Look at all that storage! We're never gonna run out of storage again! The bowl is almost full! Oh, we're gonna have such a big breakfast today! Alright, next object. Alright, any guesses? What am I gonna fire? It's this! <laughs> It's foundations! And they're actually pushing me up, look at this! How ridiculous is that? Oh, oh, do you see them all freeze in place? Look at what a lovely sculpture we've made. Let's see, what else? Three, two, one. Oh God! Oh no! What have I done? What happened? We've entered a different dimension. Oh, I feel like I'm stuck in a washing machine. Oh. We've entered the void. Hello, oh, we're free, we're free. Oh, it's so creepy. Hey, I hope y'all are enjoying this video. I had a lot of fun making it. Uh, tell me what you think in the comments. I love reading what y'all have to say. If you like this video, consider giving it a like. And if you wanna see more like this, subscribe and that'll let me know. All right, back to breaking the game. All right, next thing. Three, two, one. Oh, oh God. It's like it has tentacles and it's trying to kill me. That was so bizarre. 
No, no, don't touch me. Don't touch me. Rockets for everyone. What a what a bizarre fever dream this is. I really want to fill up the sky. This is so weird. <laughs> wow, the weather is uh, really something today. Well, we definitely filled the bowl. Yeah, we can do stairs. Why not? Three, two, one. It's so weird when they jiggle like that. It's almost like the game wasn't meant to be played this way. That's a nice pile of stairs. Start your day with a healthy bowl full of stereos. Yippee! Look, <laughs> look at them spinning. Oh, look at these two dancing. How beautiful. Yes, look at the ridiculosity. Drones, I can do drones. Those would look the most like cereal. All right, here we go, Dronios. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> They're flying home! There we go! My drone needs are forever solved! Alright, boys, hop, 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 hop! I feel like the Wicked Witch of the West releasing the monkeys. We are the Borg! Oh, I have 1,482 drones! First... Yeah. <laughs>